right, good morning. Monday, the 4th of June. Didn't make a video yesterday because we basically just stayed here in the restaurant eating breakfast for two hours, lunch for hours, two times lunch, and then uh, we uh, did some computer work and things like that. Yeah, so didn't really go out and see anything yesterday, just spent the day here having a rest. So now it's time to get all these bags packed away. Just been shopping, food, everything has got to go in the bag, and then we'll be back outside in the world again on the bikes. We are going to Esopon, and uh, we have two climbs, and so we are with Esopon, Esopon, so yeah, two mm. climbs. Yeah, about three days biking. Yeah. Okay, bikes are loaded again here outside Paradise Hotel. So <laughs> that was like paradise for us with lots of food and a nice restaurant and yeah. just what we needed, get clean, clean clothes. So. Very nice. Perfect. Good uh, place for a rest. Here we are on the way to Ezerum, 188 kilometers. Going to be following the Euphrates River, which is a famous river, um, the longest river in Southwest Asia. So I'll show you that when we uh, get there. So, uh, okay, let's get going. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you, thank you. So, uh, now it's time to do a bit of biking again. Yes, so some yeah, nice mountains yeah, to look at today, so let's get going. So have to find a cash point here before we leave. Or we're still in a country that has a cash point. Soon we'll be in countries that don't have cash points. <laughs> That'll be a new challenge. And so far, it's easy in Turkey, there's cash points. So. We just had a guy stop us on the way out of the town here. He was a nice guy. Just wanted to see if he needed any help with anything or directions or advice on so he gave us a few good camping spots for the next few days, that was good. So he asked us where we, where we were going, we told him Georgia and then Armenia. Yeah, we were telling him that we were going to, now we're on the way to Georgia and then Armenia. And uh, of course when we told him that he says yes because the, the border between Turkey and Armenia is closed because of politics, political problems. But yet, yet again we heard that he doesn't agree with the politics in his own country, we heard this many times now. It just shows you sometimes the people don't always agree with politics that the government is uh, is leading. So but, uh, he was a nice guy, nice and friendly again. So it's again another friendly Turkish person. So uh, we're just leaving the town now. Sun is shining, of course, as it usually does in the mornings. But, uh, we'll see later on in the afternoon if we get the normal. Afternoon thunderstorm. Let's see how that goes. They should be fairly flat. We are following a valley and the Euphrates River. I'll show you in a little short while. We can see that. Okay, 182 to Ezerum. Okay, just stopped to change our clothes, rain clothes on this nice truck driver there. He just gave us three cups of coffee. Yes, <laughs> very nice. So, and nice Jamie, I uh, have uh, coffee today. Yeah, so maybe uh -huh. we're going turbo speed now. Yeah. <laughs> I was cruising along there, nice, 25 kilometers now in the sun. Flat road. Flat road, yeah. Very nice, enjoyable. And all of a sudden it started raining. Just as we're entering the mountains now, if you can see here. So. Hopefully we'll stop in a few minutes. Right now we've got nice coffee. This river here behind me, this is the Euphrates River. We're actually going to be following it the next few days actually starts or gets its source near the mountains of Armenia, actually the longest river in uh, southwest Asia. This river it flows from here, from its source in the north of Turkey all the way to south Turkey through Syria, through Iraq. It comes out in the Persian Gulf. It's one of uh, the two rivers that feeds the ancient floodplains of Mesopotamia. This one together with the Tigris, they flow parallel to each other all the way down through Iraq. Actually uh, 
mentioned in the Bible as well, these two rivers. It's on YouTube this morning if you check and want to learn a little bit about the Euphrates River. Most of the videos that pop up there have uh, prophecies for the future, that when this dries up, bad things are going to happen to this area. So that was 10 of 9 out of the 10 videos are on YouTube at the moment. They were just talking about how to dry it up and people rushing over to the river to show it all dry. But uh, here, it's flowing quite nicely. So we'll follow this now, next few days, this way. Through this valley here, some steep cliffs on both sides we'll see in a short while. So let's get going. Time to turn the lights on, get in the tunnel. I think it's a short tunnel actually. These tunnels are not too bad, there's no wind or rain. lunch break here. Yes. Start borex again. <laughs> yeah, not much potato, but there we go. Already done 45 kilometers so far before lunch, going quite well. We came through a little bit of uh, rain and wind, but now it's quite nice again. So, yeah. Rock on the bikes in a few minutes and carry on cycling next to the river here. It's in a, a nice valley, so, yeah. Coming through here now, the hills at the side of us are extremely steep now. Extremely high mountains. Yeah. It's very beautiful actually. There are many mountains here in this valley, but we are right in the middle. The problem is we cannot see it going up. Oh, it's going down. Okay, countdown is on to Ezra. Kilometers are falling nicely. See the river here is flowing in the opposite direction than we are cycling as we cycle towards source in Armenia. So today we're doing a bit of petrol station camping. I actually met a couple from England, John and Fern, they are camping here as well. <laughs> now the cook is going. <laughs> okay, this is where we're camping tonight. This is the petrol station camping. A few people we've met the last few days that told us some bears in this area here. So they advise for the next uh, few days just to stay near big uh, towns or uh, petrol stations. So that's what we're doing tonight. So that's uh, the reason for staying here. But then we turned up. There was also another English couple, also on the road. 
since the uh, end of March. Good to be able to have an evening with them, speak English. That was nice. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll uh, have a night in the tent now and we'll be we'll be back on the road tomorrow. We've got a bit of mountain climbing to do tomorrow. Up over 2,000 meters again, so we'll uh, up the mountain and down again and we'll be on our way to Ezerum.